God, I love that song. Good morning to you, everyone, and welcome to your Monday. I'm Eric Connor, And I'm Stella Escovito. Thank you so much for joining us. We do also want to say welcome back to our DirecTV, AT&T, U-verse viewers as well. Yeah, we missed all of you. Mm -hmm. Our station ownership has reached a deal, so we're happy to be back on your TV, and thanks so much for being patient. Yes, yes, thank you. Welcome back. And it so happens to be that we are back. And uh, today is the first official day of winter. Yeah. And Netta, we have a, an awesome surprise happening today that, you know, hasn't, ha what, what, last time it happened was hundreds of years ago? 800 years 800 ago. Years ago. For wow. it to happen at nighttime where we can all see it. And what's amazing is, you know, our skies are so clear right now, and we just hope they stay that way. Right around sunset time, a great conjunction will be happening. And if the skies stay as they are right now, Right now, you're going to get some remarkable views from the coast to our mountains, the deserts, wherever you are. Uh, look towards the southwest, and you'll get to see Saturn and Jupiter lined up very, very close. They'll look like one big bright star. Here's a view of those clear conditions from San Miguel looking out towards the west, and those stars are still out there, in fact, so we are noticing a very clear conditions. It's also pretty dry. I'm sure your skin's noticing that, too. It's been a dry weekend as well, and a warm start to winter. Yeah, the winter solstice is happening this morning. So, uh, you know, this new season, astronomically speaking, is starting off in the 70s and low 80s before things cool down for your Tuesday. I'll get into that coming up later. Jenny. Well, hello. Good morning to you. Super quiet out on the roads. I'm checking and checking and not much happening. North on the 15 at Scripps Poway, there are reports of some sort of an obstruction there. I don't think it's blocking any lane. It might just be off to the shoulder. You can see quick check of the South County if you're driving on the Coronado Bridge. Some volume at the tail end, but you're still moving. No crashes up in the North County. Back to you. Jenny, thank you. Today marks a second shot of hope as Moderna's COVID vaccine makes its way across the country. And the first doses could soon arrive here in town. News 8's Evan Rani is live at Rady Children's Hospital with a closer look at the day ahead here in Evan. We also are hearing from a San Diegan who took part in this vaccine trial. That's right. Good morning to you, Eric and Stella. Another promising day in the fight against COVID-19 as the second vaccine, the Moderna vaccine, is now being distributed across the country. It left a Memphis facility yesterday and is now making its way as one of its stops here to Rady Children's Hospital. Uh, the idea behind this is that if you got the Pfizer vaccine, you'll have to stick with the Pfizer vaccine. But for the remaining healthcare workers who have not been vaccinated, they can now take the Moderna vaccine and the CDC of course, has laid out their list of who should be getting it and in what order. Now, this Moderna vaccine is slightly different than the Pfizer vaccine. We'll lay out some of those differences in just a second. But as you mentioned, a San Diego local has gotten the uh, both vaccines, both doses of the vaccine of the Moderna one, and uh, says that while she did experience side effects, she is in support of everyone in the country getting that vaccine. I think it's fair to say that everybody hates COVID-19 and everybody wants it gone. Um, but then you've got people that don't wanna wear their masks and they don't wanna social distance and they don't wanna stop seeing people and they don't want a vaccine. So it's like, you can't, you can't have it all those ways. So if you want this to be done with, if you wanna get back to restaurants and seeing your families, roll up your sleeve and get a shot, take your vaccine. So out there was Leslie Sullivan. She says that while she did calm down with flu-like symptoms for about 36 hours after she got the vaccine, she still supports people getting it. The Moderna vaccine also requires two doses. These ones are a month apart for the Moderna vaccine. One promising difference is that the Moderna vaccine does not need to be stored in ultra-cold freezers like the Pfizer vaccine. It instead can be stored for up to 30 days in a standard freezer. Hospitals throughout San Diego will receive shipments as early as today today, but they're expected to come in throughout the beginning of this week. Rady Children's Hospital hasn't said how many they'll receive, but it is likely that this rollout will look similar to the Pfizer vaccine, meaning that remaining healthcare workers will be uh, followed up as the tier 1A, and then they'll continue down the list from there. Now, in terms of how many vaccines are available, Moderna has already distributed about 20 million of those vaccines and are expected to uh, continue that rollout through the end of this year. So they say that by the end of this year, 20 20 million will have been distributed. The remaining about 85 million, they say, should be distributed by early 2021. So now more promising news in both the Pfizer and the Moderna vaccines being distributed across the country. We, of course, will keep you updated here and on CBSA.com. Stella and Eric, back to you. 
Evan, thank you. President-elect Joe Biden and his wife Jill are scheduled to receive their COVID-19 vaccinations today. The Bidens will receive the Pfizer one, not the Moderna. And uh, we'll do so on live TV as part of an effort to convince people to get vaccinated. Current Vice President Mike Pence was vaccinated last week and we brought that to you live as it was happening. As for the next group to get vaccinated, a federal advisory panel is recommending it be anyone 75 and older, along with essential workers like teachers and firefighters. That recommendation will now go to the CDC director for a final approval. And to keep up to date on the coronavirus vaccine, just text the word vaccine to 858-571-8888 and you will get a link to all of our latest stories regarding the vaccine. Congress has finally broken its still made on a coronavirus relief plan and negotiators have reached a deal on a nearly $900 billion COVID-19 relief package. A vote is expected in the House and Senate today. The measure includes an additional $300 in unemployment benefits for 10 weeks and a direct stimulus check of $600 for most Americans. The bill would also provide a new round of subsidies for businesses and funds for schools and renters who face eviction. San Diegans are feeling a sense of uncertainty over the future of dining at local restaurants as we await a judge's ruling this week. But it's not stopping some local leaders and community groups from pushing to reopen all businesses and schools today. News 8's Teresa Sardina is live in El Cajon, where a rally is scheduled later this afternoon. Good morning, Teresa. Good morning, Stella and Eric. Good morning from El Cajon. Yes, the rally is called All I Want for Christmas is Freedom, and it's going to be held at the Centennial Plaza in El Cajon at 3 o'clock. And it's put on by a coalition, nonpartisan group, Reopen San Diego, and it's to advocate to fully reopen San Diego businesses and schools. And this rally comes after a judge appeals a court state judge's decision to halt enforcement of COVID-19 restrictions against San Diego County restaurants. And that's why indoor outdoor dining is closed once again. There will be county and city leaders speaking at the rally discussing this matter and still certain uncertainty over the future of dining at local restaurants as we await a judge's ruling this week. Some restaurants have decided to only serve pickup, takeout, and delivery regardless of the outcome. Dario Gallo of restaurant Chivico by the park says this back and forth operation is overwhelming. We reduce all the employees to almost zero. There's me personally doing deliveries. There's my brother in the kitchen cooking with other four people, maybe. We're still concerned about those four people. The All I Want for Christmas Freedom Rally will be held here at 3 o'clock in El Cajon at the Centennial Plaza, to, again, to advocate to fully reopen San Diego businesses and schools. I'll send it back to you. Teresa, thank you. Go Governor Gavin Newsom is in quarantine for a second time in two months after coming into contact with a staff member who tested positive for the virus. His office says once it was informed of the positive test, it initiated the state's coronavirus protocols for state agencies. Newsom and other staff members tested negative yesterday and will be tested again in the coming days. The latest COVID numbers from the county show we are headed in the wrong direction. Look at these numbers. Mm, health officials reporting 3,493 new cases. That's 15% of the close to 24,000 tests that have come back positive. I read these numbers all the time. I think that's the highest I've heard. 47 more people were hospitalized with COVID. The county's adjusted case rate has climbed to 29.5. And Southern California's available ICU capacity remains at 0%. Taking a look at a brand new week, a new season out there too here. Yeah, yeah, yeah winter solstice. Happy Shabbat Yalda to everybody. Uh, this is the start of the new season, astronomically speaking. So here's what's happening. We have the longest hours of nighttime, just over 14 hours. Our sunrise is going to be at 647 this morning, so our day is a lot shorter right now. Of course, that does represent the start of winter, new season, new beginnings. Hey, why can't we enjoy something new, right? If you do want to stay in line with some Persian traditions, these are ancient traditions. Enjoy some pomegranate today, some sweets, some wine, some nuts. You know, enjoy the day as we bring in this new, new uh, beginning. Astronomical winter officially started at 2.02 this morning, and then we have that great conjunction uh, that's happening this afternoon. So Saturn and Jupiter, they're going to be very close, 456 miles apart. I know that doesn't sound very close, but it is for them. And the best time to see it will be once that sun goes down, just after sunset, which will be at 4.47 until 7 p.m. 
then those planets set. So make sure you're out there with your cameras ready to go. It's going to be quite a sight out there. So it is a special day today on the start of the work week, holiday week for some of you. 45 degrees right now, Poway 41 in El Cajon, 56 downtown, 55 in Chula Vista right now. We are noticing still that offshore wind. It still feels fairly dry out there. 17, 18 mile per hour gusts coming through our mountains and these winds are going to switch direction. They'll become on shore here, especially tonight, early tomorrow morning. The marine layer expected to make a comeback. So hopefully it'll happen after the great conjunction because we want to keep those clear skies in place uh, and then we will see added moisture to our air as well. Relative humidity numbers should move up. It may feel a little bit better out there. Jenny. Well, it feels fine out on the roads. You can see nice and quiet. Uh, no major crashes reported. See this little like wavy icon moving here. This is what I mentioned earlier. It's if you're driving north on the 15 right at about Scripps Highway Parkway. It looks like there is a stalled out truck there, so it is blocking a single lane. But here your travel times are fine. If you're driving through Poway, you're hopping on that 67 or the 56. You're not going to encounter any issues. Here's a look at the North County where, as I mentioned, crash free driving through Encinitas. Oceanside, things look good. Quick check of the South County coming out of Chula Vista, no issues. You will notice a little bit of volume right at the tail end of the Coronado Bridge, but you're still moving at about the speed limit.